Greetings pilot, this video is a small guide on the Cesara 3M Trail Mech, a medium that is best suited for early game scouting and spotting. The Cesara is a 40 ton mech that has an unusually high movement speed for its weight class, which puts them on level of the average light mech, but with more weaponry. Therefore, most player owned Cesaras tend to be used as light hunters. But that's not the case with this loadout because of the Ultra AC5 being hard to hit with while moving. Instead, if you want to be of use to your team, your strategy will be to look for the enemy and try to work as a spotter for LRM carrying friends. You should use your speed to preferably get behind them, out of sight, or by circling your target. In both scenarios it's best not to fire your weapons unless they lost their armor. This is because A your mech has major heat issues and B, your main weapon only has 25 shots. I'd like to remind you that when you are spotting it is important to use the R key and keep on the same target, else the LRMs will not hit. Look for the more dangerous targets like assaults or a catapult K2 so they are damaged before they get into battle with your main force. Now let's do a quick overview of the weapons we have to work with. These are all on your torso, so you only have to work with one crosshair to fire. You should put these in three weapon groups. First, you have the, the two medium lasers. These are the easiest to use and go up to 540 meters. You won't do much damage with these, since you'll start overheating after three or four shots. And when that happens, you best get out of sight a bit to cool down. Too many players get killed because they think they can do one more shot. Don't be one of those. Next we have the small pulse laser. This one only goes 180 meters maximum and shouldn't be used unless you're standing right on top of them. Don't use it together with your mediums, that will only end with an engine shutdown. And last we have the Ultra Autocannon 5. The DPS of this weapon is 5 times higher than one of your lasers, but also generates plenty of heat and runs out after 25 shots. I suggest you keep your trigger finger off it until the main fight with the rest of your team has started. This way you have the opportunity to find a safe firing position, because you will miss a lot if you use it while running. Don't worry about the distance when firing it, since it can go up to 1800 meters. So if you can see them, you can hit them. A small note on the Ultra Cannon is that if you keep your firing button held in, you have the chance to fire an extra shot. The huge drawback to this is that you can jam your weapon as well, which is painful to fix. If it happens, get out of sight and disable the flashing weapon groups. Then just put in its regular group. It's very frustrating, but we've been informed they plan on changing it. Now that we've finished up with your combat role and weaponry, it's time to talk about the negatives of this chassis. First off, there's your armor. It's very, very low in comparison to other medium mechs. This is why I suggest spotting from afar, instead of running around your target. Second, there is your engine. To make room for all this weaponry, they put in an XL engine into this variant. The drawback of it is that it's extended across your whole torso. This means that if you lose any part of your torso, you're dead. So keep moving if you're not completely safe, because you are very fragile if you don't. All round, I am not a big fan of this mech, but if your team needs a scout, this is very suited for it. Well, that's all for this trail guide. My name is Rockbill and I'd like to thank you for watching.